Plastics are everywhere. We use them for packaging, we drink out of them, and they're even in our clothes. But what happens when we're done with them? Some get recycled. Others end up in the landfill. But many more end up in our waterways and oceans. 3.4% of greenhouse gas emissions are the result of plastic production. This is why scientists have worked to develop bio-based plastics. These plastics are derived from organic feedstocks, such as corn or sugarcane. Under precise processing conditions, these bioplastics can be made to have compostable and biodegradable properties. This means they can biodegrade in the environment into water, gases, and biomass. One of the most developed bioplastics is polylactic acid. This alternative requires less energy and emits fewer greenhouse gases to produce compared to conventional petroleum-based plastics. Polylactic acid is compostable, which helps to promote a circular economy to decrease the demand for landfills, which are predicted to reach capacity within 10 years for some states. Using polylactic acid for food contact products also increases the amount of food waste that is composted. One common misconception is that polylactic acid polymers will biodegrade in any environment. However, this is not true. Polylactic acid degrades best in industrial composting systems, which optimize temperature, pH, and other parameters. We stand at a critical point in plastic production as concerns about waste increase. New and innovative solutions such as polylactic acid are crucial to ensure a more sustainable future.